हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज राकेश यू वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ ओरेकल एसक्यूएल सो गाइस इन आवर लास्ट सेशन व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट एग्रीगेट फंक्शन व्हिच इज योर मीन मैक्स एंड एवरेज यस दैट इज थ्री फंक्शन व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन आवर लास्ट सेशन नाउ व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी टू मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन व्हिच इज योर काउंट एंड सम फंक्शन यस दैट इज अ टॉपिक व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस session so let's begin so guys before i start my today session i would like to tell that i will explain one function and rest of the function will be similar means i will explain the one function in detail and the another function will be similar okay the only difference of the functionality okay so let me begin with the count function so what is count function count function is nothing but it is used to get the number of rows or how many rows is selected by that particular query so that is nothing but your count function now let's understand count function with the help of one example in detail before that i would like to show you the uh, syntax of the count function so as you can see on the your screen this is the syntax of the count function in which it required the only one argument it can be the star or it can be the column name okay so that is nothing but your syntax part i hope you have understood what exactly the syntax of the count function now let's understand count function in detail with the help of one example for that i need to take help of table content so as you can see on the your screen this is the table on which i am going to use the count function now let's say one example i have like that select count star from the employee table then what would be the output of this query the output of this query you can see on the your screen this is the output of the this query now you can say that how exactly this count came so guys these are the number of rows or these are the number of rows available in the employee table so this is how it come now if you want to verify then you can count all the rows from the employee table and you can get it okay but trust me this is the number of uh, count of rows which is selected by the query okay now if i will modify this query like that as you can see on the your screen select count star from the uh, employee table where employee id is equal to uh, 101 102 103 then how many rows will be uh, selected over here only three rows then what would be the output of this query the output of this query will be of course three because count function will give the number of rows retri uh, retrieved by the particular that query so that is nothing but your count function so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the count function instead of the star guys as you can see on the your screen you can pass the column name as well the output will be same it won't differ because the number of rows will be uh, same if you pass the star or if you pass the any column name the number of row will be same so it's just matter of writing okay so uh, once again let me repeat what exactly the count function is count function is nothing but it gives the how many rows is returned by or how many rows is retrieved by the select query so that is nothing but your count function in a similar fashion sum function is also work but it will sum the all the value instead of the counting okay so that is nothing but your sum function now let's understand sum function as well with the help of one example let's say for example if you have written query like that as you can see on the your screen select sum of salary from the employee table where employee is 101 102 103 then what would be the output of this query the output of this query as you can see on the your screen which is nothing but your sum of all the salary which is retrieved by the select query okay so that is nothing but your sum function so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the sum function is sum function is nothing but it will sum the all the values which is provided by the 
uh, rows or which is provided in the brackets okay so that is nothing but your sum function now if still you are confused then watch my practical session in that you will definitely understand what exactly this function okay guys so let's go for the practical so guys just right now we have seen the theory part of the count and sum function now it's time for the practice so let's begin but before that let's see the content of the employee table on which i am going to use the count and sum function so as you can see over here this is the query i have written in order to show you the content of the employee table over here i have selected only three columns although you can select more columns depending upon the your requirement so let me run the query over here so as you can see over here this is the content of the employee table so it has around 107 rows okay now let me use the count and sum function on this query okay so for that i need to go to the another terminal so as you can see over here this is the query i have written in order to explain the count and sum function so this is the count function this is the sum function over here in the count function i have passed the salary instead of the salary you can pass the star as well star means all the rows okay over here i have passed the uh, salary oh, in the sum because i want to sum the salary okay now what exactly count function will do count function will return the number of rows from the employee table okay and some function will give the summation of the all the salary because i have passed over here salary instead of salary you can pass any column so it will sum all that uh, values of that particular column okay so this is nothing but your sum function and count function so let me show you and let me explain so as you can see over here this gives the 107 and this is the output of count function okay and this is the output of sum function so this is nothing but the summation of the all the salary from the employee table and guys if i will add the where condition over here then what it will give it will give the output from the whatever the rows satisfying this where condition okay let me give you the more clarity on this let me add the where condition over here and let me show you the content of this query so it will work on these rows not the entire table so guys what will happen over here over here if i will add the where condition then it will create the temporary kind of table in the uh, oracle engine like this and this query will work on which query you can see over here this table on this table it will work okay so what it will do it will find the how many rows are selected by this query so four rows are selected so it will give the four and it will sum the all the four salaries you can see over here it you, the summation is equal to this one okay so this is nothing but your sum and count function so guys i hope you have understood sum function is nothing but it is used to get the sum and count function is nothing but it is used to get the count of rows from uh, that uh, table or from that query whatever the uh, rows written by the that particular query okay guys so this is nothing but all about the count and sum function now let's go for the assignment So guys, I hope you have understood what exactly the sum function and what exactly the count function is. Now it's time to say goodbye. So thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye-bye. Take care.